Hey guys, this is Caffeine Gaming, and welcome to Project High Rise. There was a new um, DLC recently. It was called Brilliant Berlin, and I just wanted to go ahead and, I guess, review it. Um, I've been doing this for the majority of these. I figured I might as well continue because I didn't want to break the cycle of this, and I don't really have anything else planned for this week. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the stuff that they've added in this particular oh no pause and lower that <laughs> uh, i wanted to talk about the things that they had introduced in this pack so this pack obviously called brilliant berlin has to do with you know berlin i don't know anything about berlin in all honesty i have i know very little about germany um but oh wow we have a lot going on here but i kind of wanted to show off what we've got uh, one of the things i don't actually have on here because i deleted it They've added some new skin. Ooh, <laughs> they've added some new skin. So this is the lobby. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because uh, my guys won't be able to get across. But they've added some new stuff when it comes to like skins in the background. I think that was really the only one that I saw that they've added. Just this vintage art deco lobby thing. Uh, maybe I can put it just like right here. No, I can't because it's down below. I don't really have any other place to put that. Maybe here. There we go. You guys can see what this looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing that I really want in my tower right now. Uh, they also added parking, as if you didn't notice. One of the biggest additions to this is parking. It's like a utility. These never move. Uh, it's probably one of the most boring and space-intensive utilities in the game. Which, I mean, they kind of make sense. Parking is spacious. And of course, the problem with this is it just is kind of boring. It looks cool. I like the aesthetic of having this but in all honesty uh, i'm not too fond of the parking which actually kind of puts a damper on this pack for me because everything in this pack requires parking so um there's that uh there's nothing new in regards to pretty much anything else that i saw just the parking you've got this whole thing you've got parking ramps entrances and parking spots nothing special just parking so there you go um additionally you've got some new offices we've got these design services uh these are just design studios they require let's see here uh yeah, I'll, you can see on the top here, actually, because I can't point at it, but right next to satisfaction, it says assigned parking space is required. Indoor decos, that means these little things, so like indoor plants, cabinets, seating. So you need those for this. Uh, restaurants, three restaurants, and a vending machine. Yeah, the big thing here is the assigned parking spaces. Each office that's new requires a assigned parking space. We've also got freelance software developers. Uh, include it like, requires the same thing. Nothing else of interest there. Uh, when it comes to medium businesses, we've got these uh, psychologist offices. They also require assigned parking. Interior decos. They actually tell you how many restaurants you need. Um, they actually need payphones, vending machines, or shoe shine stands in the building, but doesn't necessarily have to be on the floor, which is really nice, as well as paintings or sculptures. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Surgical suites, same type of thing. And then you've got this falling apart uh, biotech firm. Also requires assigned parking and a bunch of stuff inside the building. And this one actually include, uh, includes outdoor decos, lobby art, or fountains. You need two of those. So that's interesting. Up here we've got automobile company headquarters. So think like, well, this is this looks like Mercedes, honestly. And it requires similar stuff. So nine restaurants, five indoor sculptures, eight outdoor decos, and an assigned parking space. Oh, this also needs to have so many industrial design studios. We've got this pharmaceutical company HQ, which requires biotech labs. Pretty much everything else is the same. And then we've got the software HQ, which requires the same thing, and they just need to have freelance software. At least they tell you how many. I needed 12, which is why there's a whole bunch up here. When it comes to restaurants, we've got... That's the pub. We've got this uh, poetry cafe. 
that they've added. We've got a German beer hall. Um, I was kind of concerned because there's like no small things that like have beer in it and then here's their beer hall. So you think Germany, you think beer, at least I do. And then uh, a chick steakhouse here, which I don't know, I think these look pretty cool. Um, not much to say here, honestly, on those. And I don't recall there being any new shops that I saw. I don't think I missed those, but nothing new there. And then additionally, there's these uh, family apartments. And these guys, these guys require parking and common areas as, long, as well as stores and indoor decos. They're pretty simple. I mean, there's nothing special about these. They're, they're, you know, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Um... And I think there's just the duplex ones. And I don't even recall there being anything else. I didn't even try and put anything on the roof because most of the stuff isn't available. You know what, the only thing I didn't include here, while we're sitting here, let's see if there's anything in the new, oh, I can't put that up there. This is a rooftop one. No, I didn't think so. I don't think there's anything new on the rooftops. Um, and then there's three new scenarios for this. Now, let me really quickly say, I love this game. And I think it's a really good game. I think this pack falls short, but I don't necessarily think it's because of the pack itself. I don't like the parking. I hate the way the parking looks. I hate having to put the parking down. Each spot is ridiculously expensive. Like it's 250 uh, monies per spot and $50 per day. Now these rents are crazy high. So like that's really good, but I don't think it's worth it in all honesty. Like, beyond that, I feel like I lowered the rent on some of these. Yeah, so like the basic rent for these is like a thousand, which is really high. And it's really nice, but then you have to worry about parking. And like I said, this is 150 per day, these are 50 per day, and this is 400 per day. Um, I don't know anything about parking. I know it's expensive, and I know like upkeep on that sort of stuff is expensive, but I just feel like it's too high. I also feel like it doesn't matter because you can see how much money I have and I started out like on this level um but the you know the base amount I didn't cheat or anything and I have a ridiculous amount of money and you can see how much I'm making per day so take that as you will like you pretty much at the end of any of these levels you're going to be rolling in the dough and like I said I think I think this pack just falls short I don't feel like I really wanted this pack and I don't feel like I don't feel like it's worth it, in all honesty. Uh, it's only $2, so if you really want like the steakhouse or the poetry cafe, I don't know, find a mod for those things. <laughs> honestly, there's so many buildings and rooms and stuff on Steam Workshop that I feel like you could probably get something like this and not have to pay anything. It may not have the same type of requirements, but it's not bad. My other issue with this game is, or with this pack, is that they haven't fixed the two major issues that I absolutely positively just drives me crazy. Uh, the first being they haven't quite fixed. Um, so if you can see here, like it says you need three restaurants. Well, that's nice, but that doesn't go back. So in the previous game, in the previous um, expansions and stuff, I don't think you can see them in here. We don't have them available, but for like, the other offices, you would have, like, you need more restaurants, but it wouldn't tell you how many restaurants you needed, just say you needed more. Well, they've not fixed that, so those all still just say, like, you need more restaurants, which, that's not really useful. If you're gonna fix new, if you're gonna add new things that have, like, not vague requirements, you need to go back and fix the vague requirements for packs and the original game, because it just doesn't, like, it's not the same, like, I don't know how to explain it properly, but basically you need to have a UI that's the same across. And as of right now, it's not. Like you can tell what's older, you can tell what's newer due to that. And it just, it's jarring and it's annoying because I absolutely positively hate this like requirement. Like you can't see what's required. And it just makes me so mad. Um, the other thing they have not fixed. So if you've got somebody in here that's like whining about something, so let's just say, uh, this guy here is just like, oh, I need this and I'm mad and I'm gonna move out and I'm down here I don't get that war I don't get a warning until they move out and I think that's a problem I wish they'd be like hey like somebody's mad and have like a little warning up here Just be like hey, there's like two buildings in your um, 
in your tower that are going to try and move out. Or like down here, because there's like all this space, just be like, so many buildings are happy, so many buildings are not happy, and not have to go, I think you can go in here, but I don't want to have to open up a menu to find that. And it gets kind of annoying because over time, you know, this, the tower sim, being that it's a tower sim, actually I can just do this. Um, I mean, this goes all the way up to floor 140. So you can imagine being 140 and having somebody on floor two being upset at you. Yeah, it's annoying. And I think that's one, those are the two biggest issues that have pers persisted through this game since it actually launched. And it's been a, been a while. <laughs> um, so I'm just mad about that. I don't think there's anything really else that's new in this. This game is ripe for a new, like full expansion, like Las Vegas. So in Las Vegas, you had like hotels and stuff. So originally you just had offices, shops, your restaurants and apartments, and then Las Vegas added hotels and casinos and stuff. I think this game is ripe for something new. I don't know what, I guess it's kind of hard to say because I, I just don't know, but like an expansion pack with something new or even just like a grip of scenarios would be far more welcome than just, I I'm sorry, the things like the steakhouses or the biotech firms, they're reskins of stuff that are already in the game, maybe slightly modified to have some new stuff, but they don't like, and they all look the same. I guess that's my other issue is everything looks the same. Like all of the buildings, look the same. It would be great if there was some some difference between them maybe. That would be a great addition. Um I would I would pay for a scenario pack. <laughs> right now like $2 for like a grip of like 15 scenarios. Heck yes, I would drop some money for that. Cuz the scenarios I'm sure take time to build. You actually have to build these little scenario goals and you have to, you know, create the requirements, but in all honesty, this might be the last pack I purchase. They're cheap, but I feel like they're kind of going for the micro transaction type thing uh, since this game did, I think this game launched on mobile recently, uh, which actually upsets me more than it probably should. I absolutely positively hate micro transactions and the fact that I was like, I always originally kind of happy. I'm like $2 for like three scenarios and a bunch of new stuff. That's not bad and it's not bad. But it's just now they're falling flat because it's kind of the same thing over and over and over again. And just it's not as amazing as they used to be because it's the same thing over and over and over again. It's kind of got the Sims stuff pack written all over it. Sims stuff packs were just either reskins or additions of items that really didn't have any bearing on the game that you could probably go get in a mod. We paid for it anyway because we're all losers. And it's kind of what I'm feeling <laughs> like this was. So Soma Sim, please, I, I have to say, get back down from this a little bit and maybe focus on fixing some of the previous stuff before introducing anything else that's just a bunch of reskins. Maybe I'm just whining a bit today. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about this pack. I was gonna do a review, like an actual review on this and I just felt like the pack fell too flat for me to really care. So that's, that's, where I'm at, and like I said, I may not, if it's another, if like the next pack is just another pack like this, I probably won't pick it up, uh, just because I'm not gonna be interested in that. So hopefully they're gonna be introducing some bigger stuff in the next one, probably not. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode, whatever that is, in the description, there should be a link to my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, discord patreon oh my god how many links i'm um, still thinking about closing down my facebook page because i just don't care but everything else i don't know stop by say hi join the discord join the conversation and i will see you guys later bye